<laughs> Welcome back to another Adventures with John Jr. video. Today is very exciting. Today we're gonna have Adventures over here at Knott's Berry Farm for their limited time event it's called Taste of Calico. It is like a mini boysenberry festival. I have purchased my tasting card right here, um, valid for five samples. Um, juniors are for three samples. For these tasting cards is $25 for adults and juniors is $15 for their tasting card. This event is going on from this weekend to next weekend, July 25th, 26th, 27th, I believe. And um, today we're here on the first opening day and I'm very excited. So let's go have some fun here at Knott's Berry Farm. This is a time for only at Ghost Town. So only Ghost Town is open, the park is not open. It is still closed, the only thing that is open is Ghost Town and obviously the marketplace as well. So let's go have some fun, let's go eat some food and yeah, let's go take a stroll down Ghost Town. So we have now entered inside Ghost Town and wow, it is looking so nice. It's so very empty. Well, we barely walked through the entrance, so obviously it's going to look very empty right now. But I think as we go towards the shops where they sell the foods and stuff, it is going to be a little crowded. You can see there's a little bit of a crowd, but so far so good. They have a lot of those uh, safety markers on the, on the bottom to tell you how to physical distance. And let's go into the stores. They have the, a lot of the retail, the retail shops are open. Um, a lot of the dining is open um, for you to get your treats uh, with the tasting car. So let's go over here. Gold Trails Hotel Mercantile is open. So if you want some like boysenberry, festival, not festival, but like boysenberry style merchandise, you can get it all, all around here. Everything. And if you went to the store, there is some physical distancing markers just in case if the cashier is long or you gotta wait if the store is very like limited for their capacity you have to wait out here until it's your time to go in. Over here in Ghost Town Calico Stage they have so many tables lined up like if it's like the Summer Nights Festival so many tables and so many tables that are pretty empty no, not a lot of people are sitting on the table so that's that's a good sign that this is a not so crowded park. See there's more tables on this side there's a lot of hand sanitizing stations by the pop, popcorn stand and just everywhere so that's pretty cool all right guys sorry the camera's a little wonky but the first stop we went to was mix it up and the first thing we got was a boysenberry icy float and this has actually ice cream in the middle so that's a pretty good thing so when i stuck the straw in there it was like thick so i was like wait what's going on so i'm gonna try this taste test oh also <laughs> it's already been uh we got the boysenberry um the boysenberry jam <laughs> sugar cookie thing they ran out of, <laughs> they ran out of sugar cookies so they put actual chocolate chip cookies but there's boysenberry ice cream in the middle so it's basically like if you it's basically when you come to a regular the regular daytime park it's basically the same thing that part just with boys that part okay, <laughs> okay. that's why dad behind the camera show you <laughs> That's right. <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm gonna try the boysenberry um, icy flow. Here we go. It's thick. It's bomb. It's really good. I can tell. That's really good. It's like a milkshake within an icy. This is really good. Mm. It's got, it kind of reminds me of the, the Joe's Italian Ice. I never tried it, but I've seen pictures of it. This is really good. I would, from an out of, out of 10, I would rate this a 10 out of 10. This is no lie, 10 out of 10. Oh my God! Why don't you take a bite? Show him what it is. I'll try a bite. You want you want to bite it, Mom? Yeah. Me bite it? Okay, I will bite it. This is that. <laughs> this is that boysenberry cookie. Oh. You ready? Is it recording? <gasps> mm. That's really good. That's your mom's huh? Yeah, it's mom's. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that was really good. So those were our first samples. Really good. And these items were at the Mix It Up um, uh, dine-in. So this is really good where they sell the ice cream and all that stuff. Mm. 10 out of 10. All right, so one thing I forgot to tell you, right when we got to the marketplace, um, there were finally Knott's has their own mask. They have three versions. They have a purple mask that has the logo everywhere. They have boysenberry, um, like boysenberry berries all over it, and they also have this. It's a calico. Hold on, let me. It's a calico mask, and it has. It's like a map of of like kind of ghost town. So this is really cool. I'm going to be wearing this for now on around the park. I usually wear this black one, but since we're at Knott's today, I'm gonna wear this Knott's one. 
get it on. All right, so here's like a little unboxing of a thing. It comes in a Ziploc bag, so it's easy for you guys. We're gonna take it off and, and like eat. You can just put it in there instead of setting it on the table, because table, even though it's sanitized, it's a little bit sketchy to re put your mask on the table. So what we're gonna do, well, we're gonna take table. it out. I know, but it's still a little sketchy. Is that mask? And this is good quality. It's not like those that Disney, that thick, that thick old thing. This is like a suspended thing. So it's really good. Elastic like the chonies, eh? Elastic like the chonies. Like the chonies, vato. And then they ha they also come with these little um these little ear things. So so you can um so if it falls off, you can just go and tie it up. That's awesome. Disney uh, Nazis knows how to work their merchandise. Not not like Disney. No shade though. <laughs> So even though the park is closed and it's just the event, there's actually some shows, some of the um, actors here putting on a little show, which is awesome because it, it, it keeps it entertained. Right now we are going to go to Sad Eye Joe. He is actually in jail again. If you guys have been following the Knott's Berry Farm Instagram account, he's been going everywhere saying social distancing because nobody has been here. So right now he's in jail, social distancing from us. So this is pretty cool. Oh man, you a bad boy. I stole a horse that didn't belong to me. Did you get it up with it? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, buddy, don't ever steal horses that don't belong to you, okay? I got you, I got you. How, 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 how long did they give you? Oh, I've been in here 75 years now. For stealing a horse? It was the sheriff's horse. Oh, <laughs> that's why. That's why. <laughs> that's what. That's what it is. That's a good one. That's a good one. It is what it is. Was it worth it? Well, I get three meals a day. <laughs> get a nice comfy place to sleep. Uh, there you go. That's about it. I think it's worth it. So when you come and see Sad Eye Joe, they actually have some safety markers laid out right here because a lot of people love Sad Eye Joe, so he's actually one of the main attractions here. All right, so we just got back from waiting in line for Fireman's Barbecue, and we got the boysenberry sausage on a hoagie bun. We also got the basil lemonade, so I'm going to be trying those two items here for us right now. All right, so I'm going to be trying the boysenberry hoagie. Now, they gave us the um, jams on the side, so I'm going to be dipping it just so I get the full, the full effect. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh god. It's the best thing I try right now. Mm-hmm. I love boysenberry jelly. Mmm. The sausage is nice and cooked. The sausage is good because it's like sweet. Mm -hmm. And the skin, the skin is not too tough. Um, the hoagie bun is nice and toasted, so it's really good. Um, and then they also gave us some, I think this is Dijon mustard. Yeah, this is Dijon mustard. I love Dijon mustard. It's my favorite. Yeah. So here we go. Oh my god. And that's that. What is this? Mmm. That's boysenberry jam. All right. So actually, I got it all wrong. Um, this is this is actually um, ketchup. The the sausage is actually coated with boysenberry already. Like it's already like marinated. Mm -hmm. Like if you marinate carne asada, oh, it's so good. That's what it is, dog. All right. This is really good. So I'm gonna take one more bite. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I tried the lemon basil lemonade and it's not good. 
Um, it's like a leafy, like it has like too much mint or like basil or something. This is not good. I'll drink it. My dad would drink, he drinks anything, so he'll drink it. <laughs> Why you say you like it? Sir, I know it's a little dark, but um, right now we are heading to Sutter's Grill. That's our last stop. I only have two stamps left on my uh, on my tasting card. It's a little dark, so I'm gonna walk towards this little blue light. Yeah. So far, the night has been amazing. I have ran into some uh, some of my my favorite theme park vloggers. Best Life and Beyond, Katie and Sven, shout out to them. And also Mondo, the Cali Bay, Five Fires. He is someone who actually inspired me to become a theme park vlogger, so shout out to him. Major shout out to him. And also um, Danny, Discovered the Magic on Instagram. Amazing. Um, they're amazing people, so if you guys want to go follow some theme park creators, go follow them. They're amazing. And yeah, we're just going to go wait in line for Sutter's Grill. It's very empty here. Alright, so we just got back from Sutter's Grill and we got the boysenberry barbecue wings and also the pork pulled uh, uh, sliders with fries and we're going to be trying them here right now. So yeah, here we go. First off, I'm going to be trying the pork pulled sliders first. So here we go. Mm. These are pretty good. The poop pork is nice, nice and um, it's not chewy, and very tender. There's some like cr like cr crunchy like onion bits in there. Um, the barbecue is a little spicy, so if you guys are like afraid of spice, um, it's, it's a little bit spicy. Um, but it's really good. It's not too spicy where it's like unbearable to eat. It's really good. The next thing I'm gonna try is the boysenberry barbecue wings. This is my first time trying them. A lot of people like these, so hopefully these are living up to the name that everyone hypes them up for. So here we go. Mm. Wow, wow. Mm -hmm. Instantly my favorite. Mm -hmm. I like it. Oh my god, it's just super good. I recommend these 10 out of 10. Super good. Uh, the pork food sliders, mm, they're about, they're about an 8 out of 10. Not my favorite, but they're delicious. Just not like, just not like these wings. They're not on the same level as these wings. So that's gonna wrap it up today. I've officially used every five items that are for my tasting card. I used all of it. Here's a review of what I got. The first thing I got was the boysenberry icy float. After that, I got the boysenberry sausage on a hoagie bun with the basil lemonade. Then the last thing I got was was at Sutter's Grill. I went, I went, I got the pulled pork sliders with fries, and then I also got the boysenberry barbecue wings. And that's the full five samples that I got today. Um, they were very good. It's a very fun event here very limited time only for this this weekend and next weekend so um get your tick get your tickets before they're sold out remember this is your admission you cannot use your season pass to enter you can use your season pass for a discount on these but your season pass does not count as an entrance this counts as your entrance that's your ticket to come in here there's a lot of fun here everything is nice and sanitized right when you get off from the table the the cast members all they all run to the table and sanitize as much as they need so it's very cleanly here i feel very safe here i can't wait till the park should reopen had a good day tonight so yeah that's my full review so thank you guys so, so much if you haven't liked to be hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the post notifications to be notified every time i'm in the parks thank you guys so so much and as always i'll see you guys in the parks